In this video, I want to talk about a feature in QuickBooks Online Advanced called Spreadsheet Sync. There are two ways to load Spreadsheet Sync. You would click on the gear menu on the top right of the screen, and then you would go into where it says Spreadsheet Sync under the Tools column, Inside Settings, Spreadsheet Sync. The other way to load a Spreadsheet Sync is to be on any particular modern report. For, so for example, let's say I happen to be in an invoice list report like this. And then once the report loads, I click on more actions and then click on run report and sync data to Excel. You could also open Spreadsheet Sync by clicking on reports and then going into Spreadsheet Sync. So all those three ways opens the application. Once I click on Spreadsheet Sync, you're going to get a question saying, do you wanna open this in Excel or in Google Sheets? It works either way. So I'm gonna start with the Excel version. I'm gonna click on Run Report in Excel. And then you're gonna get this pop-up saying that you need to follow these directions, allow your browser to open Excel, click on Trust this add-in, and then sign in into QuickBooks. So we'll click on Next, and let's go. And then the Office add-ins pop-up should come up. And then for you to agree with the terms, we're gonna click on Continue. and then Spreadsheet Sync opens right here on the right side of the screen. Next step is to log in. So I'm gonna click on Get Started. You're gonna put your password or your code to log in. And you have, if you have multiple company files, you make, make sure that you select the right company file that you want Spreadsheet Sync to log in while you're inside Excel. So now Spreadsheet Sync is up and running in your Microsoft Excel. I happen to be in the Mac version of Excel, but the Windows version of Excel it should work just the same. You're gonna see a couple of buttons here. You're gonna see Run Report, Run Multi-Company Report, which actually allows you to have more than one company file consolidate into Excel. You can click, click on Create and Edit Records to batch edit some of the records, and then you can also create and sync budgets. For the time being, we're just gonna be doing some reports. I'm gonna click on Run Report. Then I'm gonna select which company file if I happen to have multiple. If you don't have more than one company file, that doesn't matter. You could also click on Template Gallery and see a couple of options that are preset for you. We're gonna click on Go Back. And then we're gonna click on the drop down menu and we're gonna select any of the reports that are in my QuickBooks file. So for some context, if I were to open QuickBooks and go into Reports and Standard Reports, any of the reports that show here or in this drop down menu are also going to be found, found inside Spreadsheet Sync. And also, if you have any custom reports, you would see them clearly labeled as custom reports. So, any custom reports that you create, they would also show up in here as well. So, then you run whatever report you want to run. So, let's say, for example, I want to run the balance sheet. Then it's going to ask me for a couple of filters. I can do here whichever date range I want to use. And then I can run some filters, cash or accrual, click on run report. And there's my balance sheet in Excel mode. Of course, I could um, zoom this in if I want to see this a little bit bigger. And then I can, in a normal Excel fashion, I could change the format of these numbers. So that's a quick way to just quickly just put your um, report data into, into Excel using Spreadsheet Sync. Now go back into QuickBooks Online and then I'm going to pull any of the reports uh, that we have here. And then after I customize the report, an actual report that I'm looking at on the screen, I go to more actions and click on run report and sync data in Excel. Click on next, let's go. And it should open Excel and just load spreadsheet sync for me. It doesn't pop up the report automatically because really what you want to do is you want to click on Run Report and then you want to select the report that you have already saved. So for example, I'll go back into QuickBooks Online. I'm going to click on Save As and I'm going to call it Hector's Report 2. Save that. And then I'll switch back into Spreadsheet Sync. There we go. Hector's Report 2. Load that up. Click on Run Report. And I'll be able to see the exact same report I was looking at in QuickBooks Online. I'll zoom this in so you can see a little bit better. So this exact same report with all this level of details 
If I switch back to QuickBooks Online, it's the same report I was looking at here. I'm gonna go back to Spreadsheet Sync, I'm gonna click on Go Home here. And then it's worth mentioning that you could also use Spreadsheet Sync to batch uh, uh, edit records. Now I'm gonna dedicate an entirely different video for that, but I just wanna show you a quick preview on how powerful this can be. So for example, I wanna see a whole list of expenses and sales receipts. Then I can click on Edit, QuickBooks Records, and Sync Back. I can select a particular expense type, for example, expenses. I can select all dates or a particular date range. Then I click on Get Template, and then it's actually gonna load all the transactions based on all dates that I picked on those filters. Then after the list of records are loaded in here, I can change anything in here that I want. So for example, I wanna change the payee of this one to this other payee. I wanna change this payee to something else, change the payee to something else. So I'm just changing payees. So for example, I wanna change the date. So for example, let's say these were supposed to be 2025 or something like that. Okay, so I could change almost any attribute in, in here. I could change reference numbers. I could change whatever reference numbers. I can change location, I could change uh, category, expense account, I can change amounts, so a lot of options that I have in here. And then as long as here under post, I put here yes, and I'll select you know which of these I wanna update. So let's say all these I made changes to, and all these have a yes next to it. Then I simply just click on sync to QuickBooks. Then when I click on sync to QuickBooks, uh, it would actually go in there and change every one of those attributes, pay names, uh, date of the transaction, transaction number, whatever it was, it would change it back into QuickBooks. For example, I'll go back into QuickBooks Online here. I'm gonna click on the, on the search or the magnifying button up here in the top. And then once I click on that, I'm gonna click on just one of the transactions that is in here. And then I can click on more down here at the bottom and I can click on audit history. And just to kind of show you that we just, just changed the name. So it says here, it used to be under cell phone company and now it's under automotive, automobile loan company. It tells you who changed it. So that's kind of proof that Spreadsheet Sync went back into QuickBooks Online and make batch edits. For the time being, kind of the focus of this video is mostly to just kind of focus on, on that area right there on the, on the running reports area. You could also run consolidated reports. Generally, kind of AC, you just click there. I select add new group. And then I pick, if I happen to have multiple companies, I can call it consolidated group one. And then I'll pick whichever companies I want to consolidate, right? So they're all gonna be in my, um, in my QuickBooks Online. And then once I select the companies I wanna consolidate, I click on save. And then all these companies are now part of this consolidated group one. Then I pick the report I wanna consolidate, like a profit and loss report. And I'll do last year. And then I click on run report. And it will go into those three company files and create a consolidated report for me. Let me zoom this in so you can see a little bit better. Where you see company A, company B, and company C it brought in all the data from all the companies and created a consolidated report. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. Spreadsheet Sync is a really, really cool tool. It works in Excel, as you've seen here, and it also works in Google Sheets. So let's go back and do a quick example on Google Sheets so you kind of see how that works. I'm gonna go into Reports, and then I'm gonna click on Spreadsheet Sync. And then once I click on that, I'm actually gonna click on where it says Run Report in Google Sheets. Once you authorize Google Sheets to work with your Google account, then you go back into your Google Docs, open up a new Google Sheets, and in a brand new Google Sheets file, you're gonna click on where it says Extensions, you're gonna click on Spreadsheet Sync, and click on Launch Add-in. Then on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the, the options. So for now, you only see a run report. For now, you only see run report and multi-company, but it works essentially the same way. So we'll go in there, pick one of these reports. Let's say a balance sheet here. 
or the same Hector report too. We'll do all dates, click on run report. And then we see the exact same thing that we saw in Excel work in Google Sheets as well. Pretty amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.